Okay, let's work on Mr. Tambourine. Now the introduction is, I had to write it out in tablature. So it's done with a zero on the fourth line, okay? And you hit the fourth string, and that's the fourth line. That's what the zero means. You don't use any fingers in your left hand, or your right hand if you're left hand. Then it's got a two, the next number is a two, which means the second fret. The third number there is a zero, which means you hit the four string open. I'm just going to tell you about this first measure, then you'll get the idea. If you see the number four on the line three, that's the fourth fret of the third string. And then you see a two, and that's the third string second fret. And then you see a zero, which is open on the third string. And then you see a four on the fourth string. That's the fourth fret fourth string. Now it's counted out like this. One and two and three and four and... We have to say ands in this particular measure. And every measure, there's only three measures, uh, because we're using what we call eighth notes, okay? So that introduction goes like this. Three and... Or just doing the first measure, okay? Two and three and four and... One and... See, it ends on a four. I'll do it one more time. Three and four and. And the second measure goes two, three, open, two, three, open, two. Okay? It's going to be really difficult. I get that. Then it's got a repeat sign, which means go back to the beginning, play the very first measure. And then when you've done with the first measure, you go to the second line there, which is the fourth measure, and the, or the third measure. I'm, yeah, and um, that measure is going to sound like this. Three and four and two, three, two, two, three. It's a hammer and a pull. Hit the zero, hammer on the two, and then hit the pull off for the zero. Okay, so that's the third measure there. It goes three and four and one. And when you put it all together, it'll sound something like this. Here we go, three and four and. counting and playing wise trying to read it my bad my bad let me do it one more time three and four and see and then he goes right into the song so you should follow along with the YouTube video of the birds playing that song I'll do that first whole phrase up there okay uh, one, two, three, four. Sometimes I would play a G chord, you know, and then a D chord, and then an A chord like this, three fingers, or barred, okay? I did a couple other things. I think I did maybe this, and then made that as a D sound or something. Uh, I don't know, but it's a really simple song, three chords. Uh, play along with the birds when you practice it. Try to do that introduction if you can. That's what's going to take you the longest. If you don't feel like you need to play it, then don't play it. But this is a great party song. I've played it at all the gigs. Everybody seemed to enjoy it and sing along with it. Which is what you're really looking for. And I don't care what, how you strum it with your right hand or your left. If you're lefty, it doesn't matter. Okay? You just come up with your own little rhythm. Alright? So work on Tambourine Man.